implementation of the Lean Six Sigma framework in nonprofit organizations, a case study. Lean Six Sigma is based on the concepts of just-in-time and automation. It aims to eliminate process waste, shorten production time, increase process efficiency, and satisfy customer needs using DMAC. In this presentation, we will examine how, through the use of Lean Six Sigma tools and techniques, nonprofit organizations are able to increase their resource management efficiency. Nonprofit organizations, such as the one examined in this case study, are characterized by their goals, organizational structure, and legal standing. Nonprofit businesses aim to serve the public. Their organizational structure is not profit oriented. Their specialized management structure does not allow any individuals to turn a profit. They are tax exempt organizations, and their legal standing enables them to accept tax deductible and tax exempt donations. Nonprofit organizations provide public services as commissioned by the state. In some cases, they offer public services needed by society that the state and profit driven organizations are unwilling to provide. Additionally, they address policy directions that impact state and profit driven organizations, as well as other nonprofit organizations. Their societal role aims to open and innovate, reform and guide, protect value, and provide services. Lean Six Sigma is the combined use of lean methods with Six Sigma practices. Lean methods focus on creating the greatest value for customers using the smallest possible investment by increasing production efficiency and decreasing costs by excising waste that does not create value. This approach utilizes such tools as value stream mapping, the five S's, just in time, and the five Y's. Six Sigma focuses on addressing concerns about defect rates in existing processes. This approach necessitates process improvements to reduce or eliminate errors and is now based on the continual pursuit of improvement. It utilizes such tools as voice of customer, workflow diagrams, and cause and effect diagrams using DMAC. Lean Six Sigma is the combined use of lean methods with Six Sigma practices. A five-step process which proceeds as follows. Defining the project objectives and customer needs, measuring errors in process performance and quantifying problems, analyzing data and finding the causes for defects, improving or correcting the causes of defects and reducing errors, and controlling the process and maintaining performance. This case study examines the existing production processes of an assistive devices service center. The nonprofit organization produces wheelchairs, walkers, child rehabilitation devices, and exercise therapy assistive devices. Products are purchased through government funding and outside donations. Because the organization's production processes involve numerous component types, materials management is exceedingly important. In order to implement Lean Six Sigma, the organization must implement DMAC processes. The organization's first order of business is to define project objectives and customer needs. The project team worked to identify the customer voice through individual interviews with customers, through which they were able to determine that customers were dissatisfied with product delivery time. Technicians indicated that components in the shop are difficult to locate, causing an increase in production time and consequently in delivery time. The second step of the DMAC process is to measure errors and process performance and quantify problems. The team chose to measure process cycle efficiency, or PCE, to determine whether production processes were consistent with lean methods. Additionally, they collected information about machine shop layout. Their findings indicated that the process cycle efficiency of material preparation and stainless tube operation were less than 5%. The third step in the DMAC process is to analyze the data and find the causes for defects. The team worked to identify various waste and non-value added activities in an effort to identify the root causes for their process inefficiencies. They used the five whys to establish the fundamental reason for the problem and a cause and effect diagram to list problems that could occur in the production process to construct a complete system framework. The fourth step in the DMAC process is to improve or correct the causes for these defects and to reduce errors. The team identified opportunities for improvement by using the five S's methodology to categorize products and components as well as a PQ analysis to redesign the shop's storage rack to be more efficient and to make more effective the shop's layout. The final step in the DMAC process is to control the process and to maintain performance. The team analyzed a flow diagram to examine operations distances for processes. They noted that the moving distance of components was drastically reduced as a result of the redesigned shop layout. Additionally, the improved storage rack designed significantly decreased transfer and delay times. Overall, there was an observable reduction in waste and a substantially improved process cycle efficiency. In order to truly adopt Lean Six Sigma practices, 
The organization should consistently look for areas where there is room for improvement, which they've demonstrated thus far with the organization's new replenishment policy, which further enhances and improves production processes.